Hello everyone, welcome to another video and this is going to be an expanding fronts 4v4 here played on the map Hideout which is, uh, I think it's like an Age of Empires map that's sort of just been sort of repurposed for the, the GBG way of things. Uh, not the best uh, repurposing though, there still seems to be a bit of a few kinks here because some of the players are actually uh, trapped in the way that the carbon clusters have spawned and the rest of their walls not spawned as a result of that. So what they've got ended up with is a much stronger wall. Could be a bit of a benefit, I think more so in this game rather than Age of Empires because we've got like flying units and stuff and we've actually got a lot of tools to destroy trees fairly quickly as well in tank level 3, tank level 4. So interesting to see what the players come up with that. Um, there does seem to be what, one on each team I think that's uh, trapped in the carbon. The rest do have a way out but some of their gates are not looking the uh, the best and some of them will have to get like their lurable animals through there. be interesting to see how this game plays out. There's a lot of nerfs and a lot of lure and especially in a Hunter's case here he's got a very nice little... basically got his own little zoo pen here of uh, Eopies and Jewbacks. And that's gonna stop the Eopies wandering uh, too far. Maybe you'd wanna get like a food processor there to be honest. But he, he seems to be going on to the berries. He's just scouted this though. He needs to, he needs to get involved. His problem is maybe that he's built this nursery. He won't have enough carbon for a food processor. You can delete the wall though, and you can lure them as well. That's another option. I think I'd just go for the food processor just because it would feel comfy. And I wouldn't have to worry about anything ever again. And I suppose I should really get into the players here. Um, I got a bit distracted by the map itself. So in terms of the team layout, we've got Fluffy Rabbit on the wing here, and the other wing is going to be Jedi Master sixty nine Raphael there. Uh, Raphael's playing the Grey New Republic. Fluffy Rabbit in the Green Galactic Empire, and their pockets are going to be Hunter here, who's playing the uh, where are we? The Confederacy. It keeps throwing me off. I tried to play these guys yesterday, and because they got Trade Federation workers, I kept forgetting to build houses. And the last pocket on this team is going to be Jort here, who's just playing the classic Republic. And the enemy wings are going to have to be uh, the Jedi Cabro here in the Orange Galactic Empire. The other one being Flag Cap Arnie in the Blue Black Sun. And the pockets there, a classic Galactic Empire, red, played by RVA. And then the other pocket's going to be, well, the classic Rebel Alliance, played by Kiss M there. And there's quite a few resources sort of scattered outside the the edges of the map, but you can see that most of the carbon that's on this map sort of concentrated in the center here. You can see some of the players are going to delete the walls because they're just annoying when they're not actually walling anything for them. And I'm just going to speed up to make it through that tank level one, where everyone's just getting food, building workers, and just getting themselves set up. Nice EOPs trapped in the base here for Fluffy Rabbit and the Jewback. He does have to get his other one though that's out. There's another two actually outside here. <laughs> Is this one completely trapped? What's going on here? That's because the gate. You just you can't get to him. He needed to wait a little bit. Oh he got him through, he got him through. He's done it. Oh. Not the best spot, but he did make it through. So if the if the monster can't get to you, it'll just like sort of stand there, stun lock. Because there's no like path available for it. And a classic fluffy rabbit move move here. He's uh, trying to lure some tusk cats, but his medic is already dead, and it probably isn't going to make it. Or will it? One more shot. Oh, it's about in radio. Oh, perfect. What am I doing? Questioning the master. The master of medics right there. Just gets it in time. Oh. And then he's had a bit, he, he didn't get that one through the gate and he's just rage deleted the wall. Because Jubak is more important. Causing a lot of disruption here for Nose here. Those Tuscats. And looking around, not sure what the obvious strategies are for our players. You can see Arnie here coming quick up to T2, getting a spaceport slam down. 
way ahead of everyone here. I'm really going for that fast T3. I think maybe they've just had the god spawn here. Looks like the hunt was quite close. Very good start for them. A little bit on the berries. Two buildings then. Let's see how their food's looking. Oh. Not quite there. It is a lot of huntable guys though. Maybe there's some food on the way. But at the very least they've got these buildings set up. Maybe have to do a little bit of spaceport purchasing some food. Nope. I think they just landed in the I think they just uh, got it perfect there maybe. These guys were holding a lot of food. Have a look on the other side of things. Raphael just getting his buildings down now. Just a little bit behind in terms of getting to T3 here. Which could be bad if uh, there's going to be fighters. If you quickly got two air bases out and got some fighters on top of the carbon. It's, it's not a long travel distance, that's for sure. And Fluffy Rabbit looks like he's sending out some troopers to conduct his uh, rushing activities against Nose here. And uh, Nose with these outward EOPs is going to feel the pain here because the workers are completely isolated. Uh, they don't even have a direct path back because of the wall. So this one's going to be gunned down in the streets. Fluffy Rabbit going to get another one. Yep. I was trying to wall here, but nope, that's three. I was going to get a fourth here. And the scout. These uh, four troopers have been worth their weight in gold. Worth their weight in workers. Worth their counting workers. Many, many kills. And that's most of the players getting to T3. Arnie here only dropping the one airbase. And do a little bit of scouting with that fighter. It's not going to be as volatile as it would have been if there was two air bases and two fighters coming out at a time. Going straight here over to the Opies. Maybe trying to pull things back to the back of the base so when the next one comes out, it could maybe go to the uh, the carbon. You might want to be a little bit more safe with fighters though because it's two air base versus one air base and if it's sort of snowballs that would feel painful. Pocket RVA however does have double air base down and they're rallying the fighters to Arnie here. So if Raphael comes and starts uh, looking to get some worker kills there's going to be a lot there waiting for him. There's this turret protecting the carbon as well. Looks like things have settled on the other side and Nose is now getting a consolation holocron to put into the Sif temple here. But at the same time, our uh, rabbit himself is going to be getting a holocron too. I see Raphael going in here, trying to do some damage to the carbon workers, but we've got the anti-air turret set up and the fighters here. Oh, just missed a little bit of a trade here. Hunter, Raphael's pockets come through and gotten a few of RVA's uh, fighters here. Caught them unawares. And now the pressure's sort of mounting here in Arnie's base with the two groups of fighters looking to get some worker damage where they can. Nice scouting gate there. Protect from patrol. But you can see that Raphael feeling a lot more confident now that a lot of those fighters have been gunned down. And he's going to head over to RVA here, maybe trying to get in between the reinforcements in that fighter count. And he does pick these all off. Arnie does come up to help though. And they are going to clean this up. But they have kept that fighter count very low for both players now. And Hunter has actually got the majority here and can look to get some damage done. Just needs to surge forward and kill these two fighters, and it's going to be disaster here for RVA. But he doesn't seem to want to do that, and RVA is just going to take the trade for basically for free, completely for free. <laughs> it's a real shame that that could have been really bad economic damage here for RVA, but a lucky break for him due to Hunter not paying too much attention to his fighters there. And we can see Jort now on the other side of the map. He is shutting down Nose here, who's had to. Seems to have lost all of his workers around the farms here. So they got the carbon workers guaranteed by the turret. Seems RVA feels compelled to run over here and deal with these fighters. Seems like Sam does have uh, some production buildings himself. He's got two air bases and a few fighters just sitting here. Kind of out of the way. He's trying to save a lot of space maybe in the safe area for his farms. Uh, 
and you can just see lots of groups of air just flying around and that seems to be what this map would, would be in this uh, this type of game in uh, Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds. You just you expect a lot of traffic in the center here. And I guess I'm looking to try and trade, get rid of these fighters, but one does remain here. You, look, you can see all these guys just passing each other in the night, just a lot of near misses. Oh, RVA does collide with Raphael there and clean those up, but Hunter on the way is actually getting chased by RVA. And RVA going to sandwich the forces? Nope, he's going to fly in a little bit and make a little bit of a better trade for Hunter. Well, not so much actually. That last fighter really didn't pull his weight. And then more for Jort here. It's a lot, a lot of air going around. RVA a little bit pressed here because he's the only one that's really making a ton of, ton of air here. Locus has the double air bases. I'm not really seeing much fighters out of him. And Arnie only really opted for the one air base here, and he's got other plans, it would seem. There's some mech factories and some heavy weapons factories, and he's starting to attack ground here onto the uh, the forest. Jorn seems to have control of the center at the moment with his fighters. Nose, Fluffy Rabbit just uh, doing their own thing at the moment. There's quite a few units out here for Nose. Doesn't have any War Center upgrades for them. I'd like to see some, uh, at least the basic ones out of the War Center for the mechs there. Going to be taking this Command Center outside and expanding the base. Now we got this uh, turret on top of this hill here. A few Strike mechs as well. Doesn't have any upgrades himself. It's all getting a bit quiet, but I don't know what this transport is all about. Raphael here going to be dropping in. A few strike mechs, straight into some artillery though. <laughs> Unfortunately, the fortress is actually tanking the shots for them now. They got a very lucky break. So they can go around and maybe kill off a couple of workers, but it really wouldn't take long for them to just get a mech destroyer out, and these are all going to be very trapped. Looks like a few fighters have just died here. You can quite catch that on the screen. Jorrent's still flying around, looking for some angles here at Nose's base. And really fast T4 here for Arnie. And with that fortress and a fast T4, you can only really assume that they're maybe going to get like an air cruiser or cannon out and use it to abuse the player. It's very close proximity to them. And the air cruiser would be huge with its attack ground feature because it could just wipe out so many trees at a time and just basically create a channel in between the two players and this army now is going to be encroaching in Raphael's base. Right, he doesn't really have the ground units to deal with that at present. Because he has like an air sib and playing a very air opener. He just has a couple of strike mechs that he just sort of threw away there to, to get some harassment damage. So there's not going to be much on the ground to deal with these like encroaching artillery that have been built up and a few strike mechs just to keep them safe from any sort of mounty play. And we can see air cruiser half the way built there. RV is starting to get his uh, boom on here. A lot of farms in the center here. A couple of command centers just grabbing up some resources on the outer parts of the map. The other player is a little bit behind in that capacity. We could have a lot more command centers, I think, by now. I was looking to build some spaceports here, but I don't know why there specifically and not in the corner. See some temples here as Raphael Jedi Master 96 has changed it. Is uh, getting out those uh, Jedi. I think they get those uh, half price Jedi upgrades. So, pretty strong Jedi save the New Republic. Can maybe use conversions and these chokes to sort of hold off the armies. Definitely the best thing at the New Republic's arsenal, I think, for this push that's coming their way. And you can see that that AC has uh, cleared up the ground here. I hope they've cancelled the attacks though, and it's not going to do it again. While well, the army's here. Graphic seems to have sort of frozen a little bit there. From the beam. There's a good sort of heavy wall put down here, and that, that's really good against artillery, because artillery has just got the stupidest targeting. It'll keep trying to hit buildings. So it'll keep hitting these walls when they start fighting. And you can see RVA looking to support this push by getting forward here alongside Arnie's base. 
Uh, but they are kind of isolated from one another, because there's no direct path to one another at the moment because of all the carbon. And shield generator going down here to keep this army safe, double the HP, and solidify this position for Arnie. Other side of things, a few units running around here for Rabbit. There's a few just sitting here for Nose, and it can hear the conversions beginning. Even after these strike mechs, they've actually ran forward and looked to get some harassment damage. A little bit worried for the artillery here, it's not really got strikes defending it anymore. He's going to make bounty hunters though, because he sees these Jedi. They'll serve to protect any sort of uh, melee mode antics from the Jedi. They start converting the artillery one at a time there, and you can use them to try and kill off the power core. Uh, it looks like there's some advanced fighters with shields here for Jort running around. These new Republic saw skin. Those are not the advanced fighters I'm used to. And uh, going over Rabbit's base here. Looking to go with Nose. Kill off all of Nose's workers. Not prepared for this. Got a few turrets and stuff. He doesn't have advanced turrets. And there's not really like a good spread of command centers or forts and things to garrison the workers. And Kiss M as well is going to lose some workers here too. He's very much not ready for it. An air sieve on the team here. Just got normal T3 fighters, which are just not going to do the job here. A lot of these fighters have actually died. So the count's a little bit lower for Jort, but I imagine he's going to reinforce that fairly quickly. And you see the Masters here have found a new position to have to defend against RVA's push that's developing here. And an air cruiser from Arnie heading over to that side. Hunter now starting to get involved and managed to build a fortress and a shield generator here and get some artillery out. Cannon, a couple of units just sitting here, try to slow this push from Arnie into Raphael's base. And the Jedi are just converting as soon as their uh, their faith gets up to 100 or so, or their force power. I want this one running a bit too far forward. He's going to make it out though. He can heal up in that fortress. And George's still running around terrorizing workers with these advanced fighters. Fluffy Rabbit is growing stronger in the meantime. And looks like he's going to be conducting a push forward into Nose's base here with the pummels. The army moving at the slowest possible speed. As is tradition. And a few units out here for RBA. He's actually got quite a lot of resources and uh, not too eager to spend them, it would seem. They've put the population to 300 in this game as well. They could get like 100 more units out here. I think that's all he really needs to do is just get a ton of units just stand in here and just kill everything off and stop the Jedi converting the cannons. And a few more Jedi from Jort now showing up here. More conversions, see cannons and artillery all getting converted and it's allowing Hunter to push forward with this artillery and start to push Arnie out of this spot. The AC is going to come forward for a shot though. Oh, he managed to cancel it accidentally. That's a bad time. It's going to be a while before that can shoot again. Would have been a good shot too. Oh, they try to snake his way around here, but I think I'm not too keen on that. I'm trying to convert the building, he just deletes the... Uh, Deletes the shield generator instantly. I believe he gets purge here. He's got like 7,000 Nova. I think he should really be doing something with that. Could even get his own masters or something. Either that or... I don't really like a ton of ACs, but I guess ACs would be good here. But what he needs to do with ACs is um, create an opportunity where he doesn't need to push in here and he could just run in and help Arnie too. So if he came at this angle... I think that would be good. Uh, I don't know why we don't have heavy strike mech gear either. It'd be really good against the Jedi. And if he gets purged, then the strikes can't get converted to kill his own bounty hunters, and it's eventually just going to start causing a lot of difficulty for Raphael. Arnie is holding strong here, and the fluffy attack did launch. Master here from Cabro and a few heavy strikes. These guys doing a bit of a battle here, but George supporting with a shield generator fortress and starting to transition into troopers now, getting the troop centers down. 
what Republic's good for. The air has found this space part down here. Won't be much trading for a while, it would seem. And a couple of air cruisers now. They can use to try and push the masters away and get some guaranteed damage on the fortress because the cannons are not cutting it. We do kill off that cannon as well. I do think, though, if RBA just um, skips this, cuts through here, you could just break this position with Arnie. And then they're straight into the economy, right? Especially, particularly of Hunter here. They can just walk straight in here. And there's a lot of workers here for Raphael as well. Pretty much very difficult for them being so close to the war zone here. Just the shield generator sort of between them and Doom. And a few more ACs pushing here. Are they not too keen on just surging forward though? Even got these uh, Black Sun Troopers that put that added damage bonus against Jedi too. These guys just need to link up, and I think they can just crush them. And they're on a timer too, because the other side is just completely falling apart. RB is trying to hold here, set up a fortress here, send your post a few units. The, the quicker these guys link up though, the better they'd be doing. Because when they're when it's like two sort of one v ones, the the Jedi can like really influence things here. Troopers are going forward. Just need to get their forces. I do think they just need to kill all these trees. A few more masters from Jor helping out here. Arnie is still trying to push through this position. RB just seems so reluctant to like walk down here. Well, that's bad. We need to have some turrets for the army as well. If you're gonna make this many ACs, you need to be like spamming uh, turrets. Jort though, not done the best here with the fighters. He could have just sort of followed these, like ran into them. Just sort of almost melee mode them with the fighters, and you could probably kill probably all of them, to be honest. Because it's just AA mobiles. That's a real lucky break for RB here. He certainly got the money to replace them, but still, be a lot of dead ACs. And they're getting a lot of time now to get some units up here and try and get some static defense. Uh, Arnie's positioning looks fairly. There doesn't seem to be much here anymore. Hunter doesn't have any units anymore. I think Arnie could be going forward as well. Just need to take the shield generator down. Another fortress being built here by Hunter. Oh, some big AC shots on the troopers. Troopers are not going to be the answer here. I do hope Army has got purged now. Because if his A-mobiles get converted, he'll lose his ACs. See, that's what Jorn's going for, but he does not have Purge yet. One of the ACs does die. You can see Arnie trying to push forward a little bit here, but fighting into a shield against these heavy strike mechs, not doing too well. Jort now seems to have taken over this invasion on the right-hand side. It was Fluffy for some reason just got his units over here. But Galactic Empire, fully upgraded strike mech, is going to do really well against these Republic troopers because they don't have much health. Gren's doing what they can, but these guys are not in the shield anymore either. So they're not really pushing too hard here. There's some cannons coming forward now. If they can kill off these MDs, it'd be great. It might get onto the shield generator. RV might feel a bit pressed fighting on two fronts now. And the Jedi count is starting to get larger and larger and larger. And to the point that it's really, there's probably about as much Jedi there as there is army on the ground. That's why you kind of need to have like good swelling numbers, just tons of strike mechs and bounty hunters. They just run into them. You can see a lot of troopers have accumulated here to help out. But they have been uh, deleted by the air crews. That's a bad look. The question is, will it happen again? 
Yes, it will. Raphael here trying to snipe one of those uh, air cruisers. Can't quite get it. And the units have just ran in randomly there. Short still not making too much progress here. These units still tanking very well on the shield. And there are some mech destroyers from Fluffy Rabbit starting to build up though. That'll really help out if they can front line for the troopers. And another shot. But at the same time, it looks like RNA has pretty much just lost their position completely here. With all these strike mechs from Fluffy Rabbit front lining for all these artillery. And this alt mechs here for Hunter, they're just carving through the army. And they're getting onto that fortress position now. Feeling a bit emboldened with how well it's going on the other side. Hunter's forces are running forward here, but he is missing that plus three damage here on his repeater troopers, so they could have a ton of more DPS here. Like, way more. It's like the, the big tech that Confederacy have got. They get up to that six plus five damage on that crazy rate of fire of the repeater trooper. He's still holding strong here. Bit of a shield wall been built here by Kiss to sort of limit the uh, the paths, but there's, there's still this bit on walls because they're still using these terrible spaceports from uh, Nose. They're just so, so out there, so vulnerable. And Hunter now is taking this position away completely from Arnie. Got the shield generator up here. You can see some ACs from RVA trying to kill things off. And the Republic's still struggling to get through this position. Kinda need their own Jedi here converting things. If you convert it'll tank a lot of the damage and stuff. Or just kill off, you can just kill off the heavy strikes with it completely. Are we still struggling to make it through here? Using the ACs to create more paths here. These cargo hovercrafts. And maybe to start rallying his own forces into this position as well. But there doesn't seem to be much resistance at the moment for this army. And this Jedi Cabro, he's had enough. I'm surprised he stayed so long. He's been sort of just turtling behind two fortresses here, but he doesn't have much economy at all. That's not good for the team, though, being down a player now. Not good for morale. And a few good shots going to land here for the ACs, killing off a few AA mobiles, but not all of them. And I'm going to kill this one. And Jedi now converting some of these mech destroyers. Cabra does have a few. No, not Cabra. Carney does have a few uh, grenadiers here, but. Kind of just lacking in maybe space for infrastructure. There's not enough troopers out there. Does have a few. It looks like it keeps getting housed because a lot of the houses are around here. So you see the population's dropping again and again and again. So many Jedi now just converting everything here. Does have purge now. So it's pretty much just guaranteed kills each time. Not good to let the Jedi count reach this height. Arbe now spent all is his Nova. Trying to get the trade on, but it looks like Jort is right on there, just deleting those spaceports because they are quite vulnerable. Still paths to sneak around, especially with invisibility. I don't think it would be too hard though to actually wall out your side on this map because it's it's not that far to go, and probably important to protect the uh, the trade. You can see Kissam tried to do that. They maybe should have just done that all the way down. And Fluffy Rabbit now showing up with a lot of assault mechs here. And a few on the other side too, and that's just going to help break these positions. Huge surge of mechs now, the AA mobiles from Hunter. And all these little bits and components just combining to make a very strong army pushing into Arnie's base here. Arby's still slowly pushing, but he's not really getting anywhere. Tons of units just been deleted with the conversion. He's going to take the shots though with the air cruisers. going to get some good ones. Oh, he even converged in that position, nearly lost them all. But still, nothing preventing this army. And it's just killing all of Flycap Arnie's stuff here. 
At the same time, this position's broken as well. Just need Stark to bring the cannons forward and the troops take down this fortress. Throwing some Jedi in here as well, going for that shield generator. Gonna delete that. Some fighters coming forward, trying to kill off an air cruiser. Arnie gonna call GG there, because they don't feel they can contribute anything else to this game. And the rest of the team calling GG as well and resigning. Just RVA left now. And that'll be the end of it. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, expanding front game, interesting map, interesting uh, extra saves and utilisation from the players here, some cool strategies. If you uh, like the content, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment, uh, subscribing to the channel, really helps the channel grow. And if you want to get involved in the games that we play, we play on Fubly and we've got our own Discord there that you'll find down in the description as well. And uh, if you want to help the channel out in another way, I've got a donation, like a PayPal link down there if you want to buy me a coffee. And I'm kind of just going to pause it there because RV is trying to hero mode, but it's pretty much over. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.